changed history. She exemplified the tenacity and the resilience of women, of humankind. Hundreds of thousands of Indian women have lived and died on the North American continent. The only two most people know by name are Pocahontas and Sacagawea. There's all of about a paragraph in your fourth grade social studies book that talks about Sacagawea, and when you put that textbook back up on the shelf, it's as if we disappear as a people. She was the only woman, the only Indian, with the Lewis and Clark expedition. There are more memorials to her than any other woman in American history, though her true appearance remains a mystery. There are no sketches, no descriptions of what Sacagawea may have looked like. Was she young? Was she old? Uh, was she Shoshone? Was she Hadadza? She's a Lemha Shoshone Agadika. To some, she is a slave. To some, she is a hero. Do I look at her as a heroine? You bet I do. You bet I do. Did she die at a very old age in Wyoming? Or did she die young in South Dakota? One year, you don't hear so much about her except for the tourists coming through wanting to see her grave. And the next minute, you know she's a famous person on a coin and everybody wants to be related to her. It's controversial because it deals with economics and politics. All of our stories are controversial, which makes it interesting. <laughs>